like, like the Land Council, the New South Wales Land Council, right? The New South Wales Land Council, um, when, when they set that New South Wales Land Council up, um, they, that, that, they put that money into trust, into a trust, that DAR puts, I think it's worth about a billion dollars, or 600 million or 700 million in, in Sydney. That money, that, all that money there is supposed to be for all Aboriginal people in New South Wales and start sharing it in that land that they got. Yeah. But they might, but they privatised it, like you just said. They set up them private companies. And what they do is they get them collecting rent. So the private companies are collecting rent or us, but they get a big administration, so they spend a lot of money there. Yeah. But that money is supposed to be going into a trust to be able to, you know, buy more houses, build more houses, uh, improve the houses, do all the mechanics and all that, and, um, and repairs and maintenance. This is what it was supposed to be done. At the Land Council, that trust account is not for a bigger administration. It, it was designed to start buying more land, more houses, increase, so the wealth base and, the, and house people in a affordable rent. But, they didn't, but the government controlled it so that they said you can't take that trust account money, you can't take that money because it's invested there for the purpose. Now, I was told two days ago on Wednesday, sorry, Wednesday, that New South Wales Land Council just sold the building in Parramatta, their rent office, for $44 million. Now, they've gone out to rent offices for themselves. They owned the building, for goodness sake. Yeah? And they sold it for 44 million. But the question is, because they sold this big building and they're the land council, I would have thought that they would have had, the op they would have had an obligation to ask the membership, all the land councils, whether you would agree to allow them to sell the land, uh, to sell that building. Like you got this $44 million building, um, 16 storeys, at Parramatta in Sydney, you know, and, and I, I, I find that it, I, I've got no idea, I can't understand why they would do that. Yeah, now I don't know where they're going, they probably... Well, they should be answerable to the members. They yeah. should be, but here's the problem. When you look at the Land Council Act in New South Wales, all the land, local land councils have, pro, have membership, mm -hmm. all your local land councils. There's only one member of the New South Wales Aboriginal Land Council, the State Land Council. There's only one member. And according to the New South Wales Land Rights Act, that member is the Minister for Aboriginal Affairs. It's not an Aboriginal. Oh, my Yeah, he, no, he's, he's, he's the sole member of, of the New South Wales Land Council under the Act. And all the local land councils are set up under the Act, you have Aboriginal membership. Right. But he can tell the registrar, that one member can tell the registrar of that act to close any land council <coughs> he wants and take away everything you've got. Okay. So you know the registrar can walk in like Ori, that registrar can walk in, he can, he can sh get rid of all your directors, he can appoint an administrator and take over your land council and do whatever he wants to your land council. Mm. Okay. All, all your area, in your area, it's all that, all within your area. So you, we haven't got power. We haven't got power at all. 